Welcome to your D130, History of Graphic Design, to our Coat of Arms exercise, an opportunity to do a little hands-on work when we're learning about graphic design history. We're going to use an online application called Gravid, and you might have used it in other courses, but we're going to use it here because it's fairly easy to use and it's online. And this is just an example of what we're going to do. And the purpose of this is just to give you an opportunity to work on a coat of arms and just put some things about you in it. And you'll also learn how to create it as well. So this is just a kind of a finished example. I just did this real quick. And you could put anything you want in it. And it's, it's, it can be a little goofy. It doesn't have to be super serious. I just put some interests of mine running, uh, programming, playing guitar, drinking beer. You could put whatever you want in here. And then I just put an H in the middle. And I'll go over how to make this shield, how to put the lines in the middle, and then actually how to bring in some art. And in the previous video that I did for this, where we did it, I, I had us kind of make a shield and then put it in Word and, or PowerPoint and then put stuff into it. But we could do it right here. So we're going to try to finish it here. You can either share the link when you're finished, or you can download it as a ping file and put that into my Warren into the ad comment. So let's get started, and you should have already watched the video on creating a Gravit account, so hopefully you have a Gravit account. A couple things just to keep in mind, if you ever have issues with it, turn off ad blockers. Notice I have a green thumb here, that means there's no ad blockers on. Also, sometimes people have to clear their cache or just refresh when they're creating their account. There's been little glitchy kind of things, but not a whole lot of stuff. It's been pretty good, and I recommend using Chrome or Firefox, not Internet Explorer or Edge or even Safari when you're doing this. So try to stick to Chrome if you can. It seems to work best in Chrome. And let's get started. So I'm going to close this up. And when I do, you're going to see something like this when you first come into Gravit. And what I'd like you to do instead of just hitting create is come to the paper size and we'll do it on an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper because that'll feel normal. And I have rulers here. If you don't see any rulers and you want them, I don't know if we really need them, but that's going to be under view. Then you're going to go to canvas and just make sure it says show rulers and you can could, you could see the rulers if we need. The only help that rulers would be is if we're gonna drag guides in, and we might, so I'll leave rulers out right now. And to get this started, what I'm gonna do is just make a big oval. So I'm gonna go over here to this tool. Now you'll, you'll probably see it like this first. You'll see like a rectangle here, and you'll come to the drop down and you'll make an ellipse. And I'm just gonna make a big ellipse, kind of like a, kind of like a big egg shape. Doesn't matter how big it is, I'm gonna fill up the page nicely. Might as well fill up the page. And it'll make a big gray circle. And you can see it's called an ellipse. And what I'll do first is kind of break this down because when it's an ellipse, it stays kind of an ellipse and you can't really modify it. So what I'm going to do when I select this with this tool, my pointer tool, is I'm going to go to this thing which I call the squiggle. It's not really called the squiggle. It's called convert to path. But that'll allow me to grab the little anchor points and modify this into a shield shape. So I'm going to click on this thing. And it doesn't look any different yet because I have to go into my sub select tool. And that allows you to grab onto these little points here. And the first thing that I'm going to do is click on the bottom point, that anchor point, you'll see these little handles coming out. And I'm going to go over here where it says joint. And I'm just going to click on this first one that says straight. What that'll do is suck in the handles and just kind of make a pointy bottom on here. And that's it. Doesn't look like a shield yet, but it's getting started. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this one and you could hold shift and select this one or and again, remember, I'm still on my sub select tool. I could highlight through these and that'll select both of those and I can move them up. And I'm just kind of dragging up, trying to keep them as straight as I can if, it, if it's not perfect. But it should allow you to kind of lock in and do it straight. So I'm kind of dragging them up so it looks more like a little bit of a teardrop shape or a hot air balloon or something like that. And then I'm going to grab this one and just bring it down to around the same place almost where it's even to those other two. So these three are kind of in a row here. And then what I'm going to do is click on this one and use this thing called disconnected. I'll just click on it and nothing will happen, but it'll allow you to grab this handle and just pull it straight down. And that's all you're going to do. And then do the same thing to the opposite side or click on that anchor point and then make it disconnected so that these things are disconnected. So see, now it works independently and I'm going to move it down right into the point. So it's kind of flat. And then what I'm going to do with this one, I'm going to do the same thing because if I move this down, the other side goes up like that. And we want to have both going down. So if I move one down, it's still on this asymmetric. So what I want to do is change it to disconnect it. And if I click on it now, it'll disconnect this one so I could drag this down too. And I'm just going to do it by eye. 
You don't have to be perfect about it. I'm just going to do it by eye. And now it's kind of like a shield, kind of like the, the Oakland Raiders logo a little bit, except it's a little too V-shaped right now. To fix that, you could click on here and just kind of drag this straight down to kind of make it bow out a little bit. And then you could do the same thing over here. And if you wanted to make sure you're at the same place, you could go into the ruler and kind of drag down here and just kind of put it there. It doesn't have to be here permanently, but at least when you go on to this side, you could drag it down and you know about how far you're dragging down. And if you miss it, just click on the point again, drag on the end of the handle, and I'm just dragging it straight down. So that kind of looks like a shield and I'm happy with that. That's okay. And I'm going to go back to my pointer tool and I'll just stretch it out a little bit. I'll move it up. Now, don't worry about this guide. I don't even need that guide right now. But this is our shield shape. I'm going to make it with a border, but no fill. So what I'll do is select it again with my pointer. And over here I have a fill and I'm going to make no fill. And before I do that, because it's going to look like it goes away, I'm going to add a border. So I'm going to go where it has border, hit the plus sign, and it's one pixel thick. So I'm going to, you could just drag up on this number and I'm going to put it, I think at like five usually looks pretty decent. And then I could get, and be careful, as I moved away, it was still going up, so make sure you click when you're done. I'll put it back at five and then click, because it was still dragging up and down. And then what I'll do is I'll go here to fill and I'll just delete the fill and get rid of it. So now it's kind of see-through. And it's just, it's not even white, it's just see-through. And I'm gonna put a line down and a line across. Now there's different ways to do it. You could use the pen tool. There is a line tool underneath where the rectangle and ellipse was. It's just a line tool like that. And I'm going to kind of start here and just drag straight down and make a straight line. And it says one pixel. I'm going to put it up to five. And let me just point out, if you ever have any issue where you're doing this and it's not showing up, because I had that happen in the past, just go on these advanced options right here, click on it, and just make sure it's on center. Make sure it uses that option, because for some reason I've had issues where it doesn't seem to be showing the thickness on that line. So make sure you do that but I think it's okay now, and then I'm gonna use the tool again. It should use the same setting, and I'm just gonna draw something across like that. And I'll just click off it, and it's one pixel, and I'll just go up and I'll make it five. I'm just dragging up and down on this. You can double click and put a number in there, but that looks pretty good. So this is kind of like my base shield that I have now. So I have four quadrants, and I'm just gonna put some artwork in here. But before I do that, let's save it. So I'm gonna go up here where it says File, and I'm going to do save to cloud as because we just want to save it to the cloud. And right now I have a folder for GRD 131 and 132. I might as well make a folder for 130 because maybe I'll do some more work in here. So I'll make a new folder. Make sure you're on my cloud. Don't click on any other folder. I'll click on here and I'll just put GRD 130 and I'll hit create. And then when I save my file, make sure that you go on to the folder that you just made GRD 130 and I'm just gonna call it I think it's EX1 I'll just call it EX1 shield and you can put your last name if you want and I'll just do that and I spelled shield wrong EX1 shield and then just put your last name first initial and then there should be a save button here and then just hit save and that saves it in the cloud so there it is and sometimes you might see this synchronizing thing don't do anything just kinda wait till that finishes and now it's synced, now it's saved. So if something happened, you have it saved right now. You can always go here and choose open from cloud if it ever closed up. All right, so what we're gonna do next is put some artwork in here. So let me do that in part two. Let me just take a quick break so this video isn't too long. And then what I'll do in part two is just put the artwork in here. So this is getting the shield started up and then we're just gonna put our artwork in here and then we're gonna share it or save it as a ping and put it into my warrant. So we'll see it for part two.